Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Chris Ortega, CEO of Fresh Up PNA. In this session today, uh, I'm gonna kind of walk you through, you know, the AI agents, how that's set up, and specifically, you can set it up in Perplexity. You can use uh, what they call Gems in uh, Google. You can also use My GPTs into Chat GPT. But today, we're gonna be walking through just the My GPT. So I'm gonna share my screen, and what you're gonna see next is gonna be the chat gpt screen so share my entire screen okay so what you should be able to see is chat gpt this is my version of it i've already logged in and as you can see off to the right i've already built my assistance that i have so i'm just going through this process again all right so once we're here i'm going to open up my prompt so here's the number one thing when it comes down to like creating these your prompt is everything right like this is your whole experience in losing whatever tool whether it's chat gpt whether it's gemini whether it's perplexity Claw. I mean, you know all of them, right? Your prompting is the most important thing that you have to do. So um, I've already kind of created this. So I'm going to go to my sheet and I'm going to write it word for word so you guys can see it directly. All right. So you are tasked with creating a my GPT that is a and this is where you can put in a role so whether right now we're doing executive assistant but this is where you can put in like a legal person or a u.s tax expert or marketer or sales or whatever the functional role that you're building out this is where you can put that in but we were putting in executive assistant that provides and i'm just going to copy over my prompt that i already used so this is my prompt and you can see it's pretty detailed so it goes through a lot of information this is why it's really important spend your time on your prompting if you go in and say hey create me a, my gbt on an executive assistant right no context right like what kind of business are you in what do you want it to do like you give it too much right make sure you're being specific and concise what functions you want it to do what role is it what areas do you want to give it uh what are the responsibilities what are the authoritative sources you want it to source what are some sample prompts that you wanted to use for your gpt have it as a word document because now you can go back through and edit this right so if something changes down the line, when you, you know, you like, hey, I'm moved into South America. So I want them to know specific locations. Or if you want to get a little bit more focused on industries, like you want to have EAs for different industries or you want to have them for different company revenue sizes. I love always exporting everything to Word because now I can go back through and customize it myself. PowerPoint's cool if you want to, if you're presenting it to somebody, I'm not presenting it. So I want it to Word. So I'll tell it, please export to Word. Okay, so that's my executive assistant. It's giving me my doc. Again, I created the prompt. I gave it the sections. I gave it the authoritative sources, the tone. I basically created that whole phase one. Step one was creating basically the job description for this virtual executive assistant. I created the job description for it. Now it's giving me the job description. So now the next thing I'm ready to go is now for this version, you're going to need the plus. Uh, you're going to need the $20 a month. So if you don't have that, like I said before, um, don't go to Starbucks twice a month or, you know, limit your cookies that you don't want to eat in a month. Um, for me, if I had to say $20, it's definitely going to probably be, uh, I don't drink a lot of coffee or tea, so it's not me saving Starbucks. Uh, it's me not eating a lot of sushi. So if I want to for me to pay for ChatGPT Plus, that means I have to not eat probably three sushi rolls a month because I love me some sushi and those rolls are like seven bucks. So if I don't eat three of those a month, then I can pay for it. So now that I got that, phase two. So we carried the job description, phase two. Now we're going to create the my GPT. So in the top right section, you go through where it says my GPT and I want to create a GPT. Again, I've already created this stuff. So no need to do that. Now I want to create it. So here you could do it like where you can ask it. I always like to configure. Again, that Word document that we exported is everything that you're going to use to drop in this information. So I'll create it. Say you want to name it your virtual assistant, name it Lily EA expert. I don't know. You can make it any different kind of name. I just like Lily. Uh, here's the description. So now from your document that you've exported, you can literally go to your description and just copy that in there. So now I have my description. Now, one of the limitations, this can only be 300 characters. So you can't copy in the full description. But again, all I'm doing on the other screen that you, I'm literally taking my job description that I exported from ChatGPT and I am literally copying it and pasting it into here. I took this entire section 
That was that word export. I took it and I'm just literally copying it verbatim of where it goes. So instructions, this is where I'll copy in that full job description, right? So you have an instructive sections inside of your Word document. I like to be thorough, right? So my instructions, I want to give it the entire job description. So I'll literally go to my Word. Here's my Word document that I have that I exported from step number one. And I am literally going to copy all of this all the way to where it says here. I do control C. I go back. I do control V. I've literally copied that entire job description from step one. That was the outcome that we got. I copied it into here. All of it, right? Once I drop that in there, I like it. I like mine. GBTs always have com conversation starters. So I wanted to say, yo, Chris, what's up, man? How can I help? I think that's a good one. Yeah. You know, if I talk to Lily and she's like, yo, what's up, Chris? What's up, man? How's it going? Like, how can I help you? I like that. That's pretty cool. Knowledge areas. So this is where it's up. So I won't create it for this one, but knowledge areas, this is where you can put, insert information, right? So if I went to that association, actually, you know what? Let's do this. So that ASAP organization that I was really fascinated by, maybe they have some authoritative literature of what it means to be a great executive assistant. I'm pretty sure they do. So I'm going to open up and I'm going to type in um, American Association Administrative Professionals. All right. So ASAP pops up. ASAP, how to be, be a great executive assistant. All right. And hopefully they got a PDF. So if they got a, and I'll drop it a PDF. All right. So here's their reports, their downloads. Uh, Okay. Here's what it goes. So hopefully this pops up a PDF. Doesn't, I want to go back. Here's their reports. And I can probably hopefully download. Okay. State administrative reports. Um, Can't download that. All right. But basically what I'm trying to find is uh, a ministry. I'll find a document, how to be, how to be a great, a great executive assistant PDF. And I'm looking at it through Google and I know, sh you know, maybe I'll just take one of these and like, all right, this was the Evolve of HubSpot. That gives me a PDF that is 21 pages. Are you guys looking at this? It says Lily. I can't even joke around this. I am like super excited. We're talking about Lily creating an executive assistant. And I literally get a document from Google that says like introducing from Lily. This is fate right here, man. This is good stuff. All right. So I have this document. What I can do is my in my knowledge. Again, your knowledge area here, put in all the authoritative sources you want to have. So like if you were doing a, a HR uh, virtual assistant, to, uh, a HR agent to help you, right? Drop in things from Sherm, U.S. Labor Bureau Statistics. Again, this is giving it context of like where it wants to go, what the tone it wants to have. This gives it information that it needs to know. So I'll just upload this. I downloaded it. I'll go to my downloads and I'll put the... Uh, evolving role of an executive administrator. Knowledge files or information is, uh, it's not required, but I highly recommend if you have three really great sources, just drop them in there. Oh, another tangent. If you want to create a great auditor or like create a great like US GAAP expert, literally go to Ernst & Young, get all their PDFs and you literally create a subject matter expert from a big four. Like you can literally create a big four auditor based off of their information that they have. Uh, so I dropped that in there. And, you know, it's ready to go. Here's the coolest thing now. You know, I, I want Lily. I want Lily to look like something. So I'll go in and I'll use Dolly to create me an image. It's taking in all the information. It's going to create an image of what they think Lily is. Uh, it's going through looking at the, the, the title of it, the description, the instructions. And it created me a nice little like photo. Or if you want to drop in your AI photo, you can actually go on ChatGPT and be like, hey, I created an executive assistant. Her name is Lily. I want to create this kind of picture for her. You can go do, use Dolly, create it as well too. So we've got everything, right? Let me go through this again. Lily, EA expert, right? Because she's going to be my EA expert. I've given it the description and this description came from exactly the information that I exported from step one from the GPT, right? And I literally copy that in there. I copy the full instruction set from that downloaded document that I gave that all came from my prompt. I gave it as much clarity as possible. Goal in this one, thoroughness and clarity. I gave it a, well, you know, a, a nice conversation starter. I don't like what's up, man. I'm like, hey, yo, Chris, I like what's up. Gave it a conversation starter. Uh, I went to Google. I got some authoritative sources. You can actually use ChatGPT to give you those same things. I just went into Google, dropped in a Google search PDF, got the documents I needed. I have the capabilities. This is ready to go. At the very top, I click create. 
Um, if I want to share with anyone, only me. Uh, if me, this is 100%, I can only use it. Uh, if I want to share with people, I could have the link. So literally, I could create this, share a link with you, and then you have the same exact thing. That way, you don't even have to do any of this stuff, but I highly recommend to do it. Um, if you're, I highly recommend to go through this process because people just sharing you link, you miss out how to create all this stuff. You create, it's like, I'm giving you the fish, but I'm not teaching you how to, what is it? Like, I'm giving you the fish, but I'm not, I'm giving you the fish, but I'm not teaching you how to fish. I want to teach you how to fish, not give you the fish. But, you know, you can, you, you guys are, you know, you guys are like family to me. I love my connections. I love my followers. You guys are completely supportive of me and Fresh Chef PNA. So you may. I'm just saying, it's a possibility. You may be able to persuade me by dropping me a message in LinkedIn or email and say, hey, Chris, hey, man, we're really great friends. Like, can I get that link, bro? You may be able to do that. I wanted to, like, create it yourself. Um, all right, I click save. That's done. It's going through. It's going to load that GPT in my GPTs. Um, and now it's ready to go. Now I can view it. I'll view it. And there is Lily. She'll show up right here. Here's Lily, my executive assistant. She shows up in my GPT. She gives me my prompt that she wants to use. Here's her job description. Here's everything around it. Let's use it. All right. So I'm traveling to Dallas tomorrow, right? Right. And, you know, I want to know um, what's going on in Dallas, right? I want to know what the vibe is. Uh, maybe I want to go to a comedy show. Let's just say Saturday night in Dallas. I want to go to a comedy show. I don't want to do all the Google research. I don't want to know ticket prices. I don't want to know all that stuff. I want to use my EA and say, hey, I'm heading to Dallas this weekend. And I would love to know the top three, com uh, top three comedy locations. And who is performing this weekend? Give me the location, ticket prices, and your recommendation on the best spot. The best spot is based on the comedian and location and vibe. Well, see, you know, I'm going through it. It's searching the web. It's doing its thing. It's finding out its top three spots. It's looking at the locations. Um, I like up here where it shows me where it's like going through. Here's the top three spots for the weekend. It gives me the location. It gives me the vibe. It gives me the ticket prices. So that's the three step processes of how we went through. Step one, we create uh, we created the job description, the prompting. Step two, we create the MyGPT. Step three, we engage and use it. The more that you use it, the more it's going to know your style, the more it's going to adapt to you, the more it's going to learn you. Thank you so much for taking your time, and I will catch you on the next one. Everybody, keep it fresh.